Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna be doing two things. One, I'm gonna be showing you uh, the ink drawings I did for the Inktober challenge, kind of like a, a sketch, well not a sketchbook tour because most of them I didn't necessarily do in a, in a sketchbook. And in the second part, I'm going to be discussing uh, the giveaway I'm gonna be um, doing for, I'm gonna be giving, three, giving away three copies of uh, my book, Pen and Ink Drawing, Simple Guide. And um, I'm gonna be giving away some pen and ink drawing supplies with each one, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, this was one of the first drawings that I did. Um, it was a pine cone I found in the park. Thought it was pretty interesting. Then I did this um, drawing under after. Um, I did it in the style of the um, of a negative painting, where you actually paint the negative shapes around the positive shape, and then afterwards fill in the positive shape. It was pretty cool. Did these bugs afterwards. Um, this one was done first, and then um, then caterpillar and then the wasp and then the butterfly did this <laughs> geometric shape after I actually love geometry I think um, in the future I'm gonna find some way to incorporate this and in, uh, the videos that I do very interesting I know it's fun and it's not as difficult as it looks guys <laughs> Yeah, I actually just love the expression on this peacock. I found this image and I thought it was so cool. Whoever the photographer is really captured a beautiful image, a beautiful moment, you know. There's a, a million ways you can interpret this. This is the lionfish. Uh, if you notice, I deliberately made the, uh, the fins here. They don't have that much detail just to kind of like, you know, direct your eyes to this area. This octopus was fun. The textures. Yeah, I, I basically just did the hand of um, the sculpture of David by Michelangelo and uh, kind of like added some textures to this. Thank God the real <laughs> sculpture does not have this at all, but I just did it for effect. It was pretty cool. Yeah, this is really like a, a practice in texture <laughs> and I kind of like added the um, the, the string having it suspended um, that was definitely not in the image that I saw and um, actually it's almost like I created this image to be honest yeah this was a neat challenge um, love drawing water and uh, uh, I've always told people, you know, when you draw water, you can't think of it as three-dimensional sometimes sometimes you just have to think of it as just a flat geometric arrangement of value shapes <laughs> and you're shading in the values as you see it that's it uh, this was fun too um, i was trying to vary the textures as well to make it a little bit more um, uh, interesting to look at and not be too monotonous i think it worked <laughs> this i did for fun um, i was just kind of like actually the in in initial idea was just to play with the lips and have it be just a flat black shape and then had the highlights to kind of like give it volume and then I just added the, the color and all that to accent it afterwards it's pretty fun yeah the eye is one of my favorite things to draw of all things um, I could draw a million eyes without getting tired <laughs> I thought I would it would make sense to follow with another feature you know I did the eye the the um, the lips and did the nose as well. This texture, I just you know started playing with it, and I just went with where you know wherever it ended up. You'll do that in your drawing sometimes. Just go off track and see where you find yourself. Yeah, I did this just for the the challenge of capturing that texture. Um, actually, if you zoom in, you'll notice that I actually have different textures in here because I was actually experimenting as I was drawing, seeing what worked and what didn't. You do that sometimes. Yeah, I had fun with this guy. Actually, you'll notice that it's actually the same uh, frog from this painting I did in watercolor. And here's a classic example of how different mediums you 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 uh, push each medium according to the, its inherent qualities. You know, here I was emphasizing color, so texture was pushed back. And here, you know, ink texture was being emphasized, so it's it, it's it takes um, higher priority. 
It was fun. Um, I had fun with this foot. <laughs> um, I was playing with the um, the textures here to kind of have them complement the form and, and just be interesting in their own right at the same time. Kind of added the, uh, the hair just for interest. <laughs> This one I had fun with. It was just I was just playing with round shapes and then just kind of like the idea of seeing through and out at the same time. To just show you how you know um, I was playing with the whole idea of how I could, in a very simple way, still um, engage or activate most of the space of the drawing. You know, in a very simple way more by suggestion than actually occupying the space. So I think the, the negative space uh, or the shape of the negative space is really what makes it um, really interesting other than just, you know, the subject matter itself, you know? <laughs> you know, uh, I, I actually got the idea from one of my friends. Um, my good friend, she had uh, a turtle and um, shared a photo with me. And I just kind of like played with the idea of having him fly and added some little buddies back there. <laughs> added the three little dragons there just to make them seem like they're having some fun. Give the flower some company, you know? Love the Cyrus. Um, well, I, I mean the flower. <laughs> but the drawing turned out pretty interesting because I realized inadvertently while I was doing it that it actually looked like a figure so maybe subconsciously that's what I was I don't know turned out pretty cool I found this little scrap of paper and I didn't want to waste it so I just did a cute <laughs> simple little drawing of um, some foxglove and last but not least um, did that Sunflower it was really fun um, because I was playing with the idea of um, kind of like not having the whole the entire flower show, but still, you know, making it show enough to still you know, make you feel its presence. It was, it was pretty cool, and uh, of course, it was this part is pretty challenging because I wanted it be, wanted it to be true to the geometric pattern there. I mean, loving a geometry as much as I do, I could not make this uh, just random. I had to obey the pattern. Okay, so let's discuss the giveaway. So there's gonna be three copies of um, my book I'm gonna be giving away. So there's going to be um, each person, there's gonna be three winners. Each person is gonna get a copy of my book. And in addition to that, you'll also get a set of Pigma Microns. Um, and it's four different points and you will get a um, secure mechanical pencil and you will also be getting a pencil case I'll also be sending this little brochure um, with a set as well so I guess you can browse other um, secure products but thanks so much to secure for donating these and uh, you know I will be sending this nice little package um, three sets like this to the three lucky winners so i'm gonna put a link below in the description of how you can win um it's pretty simple it's just like you you basically visit and hopefully like my facebook page you will have to visit and hopefully follow me on instagram and um be a subscriber that's it and um you can also refer people so that's an additional entry as well but that's it and um, then the three winners will be um, randomly chosen. And um, the final day will be on December 13th, which basically comm commemorates um, or is the anniversary of the day I released my book. All right. So and that's it. You know, so just click on the link and, you know, good luck to everyone. Again, for those who uh, take the time to leave the comments on Amazon or the reviews, I really appreciate it. Even if it's just two words, you know, it doesn't matter. I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, good luck to everyone. And uh, I'll make the announcement on December 13th. So, all right. So thanks so much, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.